Me and Jake, we're two sides of the same coin. On these streets, all you had was the guy next to you. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your role, Sonny, in the movie Blood Brother. Uh, Sonny's a complex uh, individual. Mm -hmm. uh, he's grounded in love, but he has hard decisions to make. Uh, he was a, uh, you know, got into a lot of trouble as a child. Had a friend take the fall for something they did, and uh, when he comes out, there's a uh, complexity between the two of them because mm -hmm. one is still in that life, and the other is trying to stray away from it. Uh, and uh, after doing this bid, Jake, Sonny's friend, uh, kind of has a vendetta, you know, he mm -hmm. kind of has a, a, a mission and a point to prove. So Sonny has a family to protect. Sonny uh, wants him to do the right thing. Wants to wants to you know have his friend back, but mm -hmm. it's looking like that's not gonna be an option. My man, I guess let's get you up there. Police officer. All that guilt have you stuck out here chasing bad guys around. It was the right thing to do. Well, baggage claim, Texas Chainsaw, Massacre 3D, Preacher's Kid, all mm -hmm. were like pivotal roles. They were roles that I, I wanted to take uh, to kind of understand the movie world, to not take on so much words I have to bear all the weight. But when Bro Blood Brother was presented to me, uh, I was actually busy at the time doing an album, so I didn't think I could take that weight on. Okay. Uh, I had a conversation with the director, John Pope, after the script was sent a couple times, and he assured me that he thought I was the guy for the role. Okay. Uh, he assured me that, uh, yeah, we have this amount of money. It's not going to be a crazy expensive budget. It's going to be, this is going to be hard. It's going to be a lot of work. And I told John, I said, as, as long as I could like really like act, okay. as long as this will showcase you know, the, the ability of me to act. Now to have more confidence for this film, did you do any training? Did you maybe yeah. train with the cops to just kind yeah, of know the ways of being a cop? Yeah, we trained with the cops. Uh, we went to the range. Uh, okay. The sheriff of New Orleans and uh, detectives from Algiers, they okay. came down and, you know, we chopped it up for hours. Okay. Uh, from everything, from how to hold the gun to how to enter a room to, you know, they went over all the, the call numbers, like 187s, mm -hmm. 211s, yeah. things like that. It was cool. So how was transitioning from music to acting? Because we know some of your newest tracks were actually for the soundtrack of the movie. Yeah. So how was that process of transitioning? I wasn't, uh, did, what I love most about actually being uh, being on set, filming on location, was the the regularity of waking mm -hmm. up at the same time, being a set. And like, I know I got to wake up at 5, I'm mm -hmm. being set at 6, I know I'll be in the bed by 10. I don't have that regularity in my normal In music. Life. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like in, in music, like it's all over the place. You know, uh, you might be here one night, the next night, you another night, you know, and the times are all different. Uh, so the adjustment was actually pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Now, what's next for you in the acting world? Any scripts coming your way uh, that's script, like... Scripts have been coming. Scripts okay. have been coming since... Uh, since since you know mm -hmm. actually even before we shot this film scripts always are coming in and i think I, a lot of that is due to my agency as well as you know uh the the accolades and notoriety i've mm -hmm. achieved for music uh, but one thing that's very important to me is that any film i do i want to make sure that i take it seriously okay. i want to just take it for granted that i get offered these roles because yeah, of exactly. music you know yeah. what i mean so um always i'm very careful with the this selection of mm -hmm. movies uh that i pick so hopefully this will uh open the eyes of some directors and screenplay writers exactly. and you know and you get more roles yeah. so what was your favorite scene in the movie because i know that this movie's like action thriller it was a lot of action scenes with your co-star i believe jack casey yeah. how was working with him do you have any favorite scenes uh jack's my guy he was pretty intense, I have to say. Uh, he Jack, really was. No, he's cool as a fan. Like, yeah. In real life, I love him. Uh, favorite scenes. The the scene in the deli. In the corner that was store. an intense scene. Yeah. In the beginning of the movie, that was that crazy. That was actually day one, I think. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it was How was it? It was extreme. Yeah. <laughs> like, I jumped through the uh, back of that, that refrigerator. It was like a fridge. Yeah. Like, yeah. I had to do like 30 times. <laughs> I got a huge scar on my leg. I sprained my ankle like all day one. And get some beer. All right. You paying for that? He's paying. Now, it was your birthday yesterday? Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. And so, word got around that you released, I believe, a double mixtape? Yeah. And so, what can fans expect from that with new music coming along? 
similar tunes from the past or I, something where it's like a new type of my music? My fans have actually been pleading with me to release some music. Like, I know. I'm going crazy. I can't post a picture. It's been a while. Talking about music. Uh, so uh, for my birthday, I wanted, I had, I have so much music like, mm-hmm. that I, I record music frequently. Like, okay. So it's never a problem of having music. It's more so, uh, I don't, I don't want to just put things out just to put them on. Yeah, you want to make sure they're good. Yeah, I want to make sure it's good. Uh, I believe uh, quality over quantity. I've, I've throughout my career given mm-hmm. my fans so much music on the on the regular. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, like two weeks without music is a lot for them. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, they can expect a lot of the same uh, Trey songs that they've been getting forever, and mm-hmm. you know, some fun. I did more features than I've ever done on one of these uh, projects. Mm-hmm. Which was just to have fun, you know. Uh, all the music I, I, I put out recently was more about uh, just having fun. When I want to do musically versus making it to be this or that. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? All right, sounds good. Well, thank you so much for the interview. I appreciate it. <laughs>